Hello, my loves. I feel a little bit of a waffle coming on. <laughs> um, so a lot of my clients are working on branding at the moment, and branding's so important, right? Like your brand is you, and I say it all the time. I'm going to say it again. You are your brand. You cannot separate yourself from your business. So and something that we talk about in business called being the same in the boardroom. Hey, Cheryl. Hello, darling. I'm talking about branding. So um, put in your comments down below if there's anything in particular that you would like some help with today. Otherwise, I'm going to go off on a little bit of a waffle about branding. Um, there's something that we talk about in business called being the same in the bar as you are in the boardroom. So that means whoever you are in the bar when you're drunk, no filters whatsoever, is also should be who you are in the boardroom. Now, I'm not suggesting that you get your gin and dance on the table, if that's what you do in the bar, <laughs> um, in the boardroom, right? And you probably don't even work in a boardroom. The people that I work with are wellpreneurs and they're creatives and they're here actually to make a difference in people's lives. So they're probably actually not in boardrooms. But your boardroom is your office or your kitchen table or your bed where you happen to be working from on your computer, right? Wherever your boardroom happens to be, be the same person because if you're not yourself, sure, you might attract a few people that want to work with you because you put on this persona and you're professional and you say what they want to hear and they'll work with you, but they're not going to be fun for you. Like, do you just want to make money or do you actually want to work with fun clients? For me, I would rather make no money and work with fun clients. Now, that's never going to happen because I love making money, <laughs> but... I also want to work with clients that are going to be absolutely fun. I'm literally cracking up in hysterics all day long with my clients. And they love it. And laughing when you're working is great, right? It opens all the channels. Um, you really channel really deeply and you get down to the stuff that actually works. There's nothing wrong with laughing and laughter really is the best medicine. So if you're branding yourself properly, hey everybody. Um... <laughs> If you're branding yourself properly, then you're going to be attracting your real tribe. Now, I'm going to say something here, and I put it in the tagline. Your branding needs to be stark, and I mean slap you up the side of the head stark. If you're not polarizing, you're flopping around like a fish. Now, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I swear, I'm real. Sure, I might have, a, have an MBA, but I'm also a real person with real skills, and I'm going to call it like it is. If I think that you're playing around and playing small, then I'm going to call you out on that bullshit. That's just the type of person I am. And my branding says that, right? Like, it's bright pink. Hey, Mickey, I think that was you I just saw there, darling. Um, if you, you know, my branding's bright pink, and it's Michelle Business Acceleration Coach. It's clear, right? I'm going to accelerate your business. I'm not going to go, well, we could work on our, you know, on our client avatar, and we could take our clients on a journey. Let's, let's go on a client journey and... No, let's fucking hash out what your clients want and give that to them. So there are plenty of people that want to go and work on the client journey and do all that soft stuff and do a lot of thinking around before you actually get to the action. Yeah, yeah, it is funny, right, Mickey? <laughs> um, thanks, babe. Yeah, you go, girl, too. <laughs> um, there are plenty of waffly people out there and plenty of people want that waffly people. Cool, they can go and work with them because if they work with me, they're going to be like, oh my God, who is this woman and what is she talking about? And this is no fun and it's going to be no fun for me and I'm going to want to vomit when I get off the coaching call and I'm going to beg my husband not to make me go to work. If I have to get a day full of those people, I'm just going to stay in bed with my gin. <laughs> just kidding. But you get what I mean, right? Like branding yourself as who you are is great. Now, you will know that you are absolutely 100% on brand if some people absolutely fluffing hate you. And you can tell that they hate you. Now, those softly, softly types aren't going to tell you directly that they hate you, but you're going to hear it in their tone of voice, you know, that little disappointed tone of voice. And you're like, yes, nailing it. When I hear that in someone's voice, that um, not that's working with me, right, because they wouldn't be working with me, but when I hear it out there, I'm like, yeah. My branding's working because it's not for everyone. Yeah, it really is best to be yourself, Mickey, because if you're being anyone else, you're going to get caught out. Now, people buy from and work with people that they know, like, and trust. And if you're one person in the bar and one 
person in the boardroom. I just about said bedroom. That would get a bit weird. If you're one person in the boardroom, one person in the bar, you're going to get caught out. And eventually they're going to find out who you really are. And you're going to feel like an imposter if you're showing up as someone different. And then that leads to fear, which leads to procrastination, which leads to no fluffing money. I'm getting really exciting, <laughs> exciting, excited about it. And all my words are starting to tumble out. But you get what I mean, right? So you're going to end up with no money. If you want to hide behind professionalism, if you want to hide behind you should do it this way, if you want to hide behind your copy should be this, if you want to hide behind but people need this and they need to know you 50 times and sure, go off and waffle off and do that for a couple of years and then when you're ready and you're not making any money, come back and let's get real and do it the real way. So, my question for you, because I always have a question, right? Wouldn't be alive with me if I didn't ask you a question. What does your brand say about you in one word? Pop it in the comments if you're still watching live. Um, and if you're watching the replay, um, do hashtag replay and tell me what one word sums you up. So mine would be bold, I think. Um, or it might be badass or I don't know, could be the other B word. <laughs> Could be any of those, right? But that is, if people want to be bold and brave in business, then they come and work with me. If they want to be soft and figure out a way to nurture their clients, sure, we do that, but in a fun, bold way. You know, things don't have to be um, waffly. So what is your brand? What do you actually really stand for? When you go out, what is your personality? Is it, it might be soft. You know, you can still be in my in my space and be a soft person. It just means that you're attracted to the, to me because of the flip side of it. So we all need both, right? So I know that I show up bravely and boldly for you, but when I coach with clients, if what they need from me today is full on support and a cheerleader, that's exactly what they get from me. But I'm always true to me. It's always in my own way. Busy, that's your brand, busy? Busy, what, what does busy mean, Cheryl? Does busy in your brand mean that you are too busy for me to contact you and buy from you? Does busy mean what? What, what does your brand actually say? Um, Cheryl, I think, um, so Cheryl Gray, equine, something equine, darling? I'd love to know what you do, actually. So let me, let me know. Um, yeah, so go out there and be you. And the one word that sums you up, I want you to think about what color that is. And I want you to think about a theme song. And I just want you to really start thinking branding wise so that you're starting to attract clients that are fun to work with, that are ready to pay with you and turn into hell yes, raving lunatic fans. So when people see me, they know that I'm on the way and get on the boat. Right. Yeah. Now that's important, right? So your clients either come and work with you or they're in your space and they become your tribe because they want what you have. Now it's either because they want your energy they want your happiness. You're the mascara lady, Mickey. Nice. <laughs> um, and what does that mean, Mickey? Does that mean that you are like the, here, here I am? Um, does it mean you can look beautiful? Like, what is the vibe that goes along with being the mascara lady? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, sorry, I'm just responding to people as, as I'm messaging. So, Cheryl's talking about... Um, we're talking about people being attracted to what you have. So it's either the energy you have, the money you have, the relationship you have with your children or the relationship you have with your friends or your husband, um, or they're attracted to the lifestyle you have, or they're attracted to the business brand that you kind of are. Um, they're attracted to the fun that you are having. So it's always about attraction. So client attraction and branding, it really is all about relationships. And some people laugh at me for this, but marketing is like you're in a relationship so if you think about people along the the channel right so first of all people don't know who you are it's kind of like a first date so you wouldn't go on a blind date jump on whatever i don't even know what those apps are someone will tell me right anyway so you're you jump on an app you're going on a blind date you don't go with your boobs out right <laughs> it would have been completely unacceptable to turn up on a first date with all your goods on, on show. You might dress a little bit demurely and you might be a little bit softer, but you're still going to be you. You're not going to wear a ball gown if you're actually a real cowgirl at heart, right? You're probably going to wear jeans and maybe some high heels with it instead of your gum boots. Um, so you're still going to be you, but you're going to be a little bit, hmm. And actually, this live that I'm doing now should probably really be in my group because that's where I'm the real crazy full on me. And in this group is where, because you're on my business page right now, this is where you normally see the, hey, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. If you want some real meaty stuff, get on over to the group. But this was the first 
thing that I come across and I really felt I had to say this message about branding today. Um, yeah, so that's what clients are attracted to and Mickey is telling me that her colour's purple. Awesome. Great. And then think about what that colour actually means for you. So what do people think when they see the colour purple? Do they think spiritual for purple? Do they think um, peaceful for purple? Do they think beauty for purple? What do they actually associate it with? Um, Mickey's telling me people stop her in the local countdown and say, hey, aren't you the 4D mascara lady? Awesome. That's absolutely awesome, Mickey. Then your branding is on track. And when you love what you're doing, right? Like 4D mascara, like who doesn't want 4D lashes, right? So you you rave about it all of the time and people are attracted to your energy. So if Mickey turned up and went, so um, I sell 4D. I was trying to call me while I was doing my live. Um, hi, I sell mascara and it makes you feel really great. <laughs> that doesn't resonate, does it? So that's, that's going against your brand. Your brand is, yeah, the mascara is going to make you feel awesome and it's purple and it's loud. So your voice and your whole tone and that whole branding and the whole um, pitch that you're speaking at, the whole um, speed that you're speaking at and the way that you actually show up needs to support that whole message. Excellent. So I think that I've talked your heads off about branding and showing up as the true version of you. See if you can't get someone to go, oh my God, you're too much. Or, oh my God, you're so quiet. Or, oh my God, something. Like, go hard enough and be branded enough until you annoy someone. Then you know you're on track. <laughs> okay. Have a great day, guys. I'll probably chat to you later in the week about something. Bye.